Hi, it's August 11th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Hi, Mike. I was going to call this a shirt sleeve summer Friday, but you went ahead and wore your jacket anyway. So uh, thanks for bringing a level of formality to this video. Uh, tell us what you saw this week in the marketplace. Still a lot of economic data coming out. CPI was on the calendar. How did the markets react? Yeah, we had, uh, you know, the market's been under pressure the past few weeks. Uh, there was an unemployment number a week ago. Uh, that sort of, um, you know, gave a little bit of boost to uh, Treasury prices. Came in uh, lower than expected at uh, at 187,000 uh, for July, and um, and then entering this week, we had a little better tone. Uh, and uh, but we had, you know, um, uh, it was a big week. We had uh, auction Treasury auctioned over 100 billion, in three, 10, and 30 year notes, and. Uh, and then we had uh, CPI and PPI numbers released um, Thursday and, and today. So, you know, the market had uh, was at recent highs uh, back in mid-July. Um, since then, uh, rates have backed up about 35 to 40 basis points. And I think, you know, with the economic fundamentals still leaning pretty hawkish, I think the sense is that we're... Um, uh, you know, we may not see a rate hike at the September meeting, but I think people still feel like there's another hike or two uh, before the Fed's job is done. So, um, you know, I think the takeaway is that is that rates are definitely going to remain a little bit higher for longer than a lot of people were expecting, given the recession um, kind of being, uh, you know, not the consensus anymore. Certainly the Fed had taken that away as their base case. And, uh, and any Fed pivot has been pushed well into 24. And as we take a look over to the muni market, the story there is uh, continues to be about the technical factors. We're in the middle of the summertime, heavy cash flows from maturing bonds as well as principal payments. How's that impacting tax exempt yields? Yeah, so muni's uh, outperformed slightly this week. AAA benchmark uh, yields were lower by about five basis points. Uh, we got through a, a pretty heavy calendar. It's almost ten billion in in supply next week. Uh, that gets cut back a little bit. I think we're looking at seven and a half to eight uh, billion and. Um, and fund flows, as you mentioned, they were uh, uh, Lipper reported last week there was a billion in outflows. Uh, the number this week through uh, Wednesday is the reporting period. Uh, those came in at up uh, 200 and, uh, 280 million. So uh, a slight, uh, you know, a, a nice little recovery. Um, uh, next week, there are two large deals. There's a 1.2 billion Michigan trunk deal, which is rated AA plus. Uh, by s p the other big deal uh is a 900 million dollar uh two series 900 million dollar dallas fort worth uh airport deal and on the bam insured calendar we see a little bit over 200 million uh scheduled to price that's highlighted by the 178 million uh from the city of chicago selling uh customer facility senior lien revenue refunding bonds uh customer facility charge senior lien revenue refunding bonds that's for o'hare airport that's going to refinance bonds originally sold in 2013 to finance consolidated rental car facility at the airport as well as improvements to the on-site transit system and a bam credit insights video about that transaction is available my colleague howard spumberg and i talked about that please visit uh, the bam youtube page to take a look at that uh very good grant though so thanks for your time this week we'll uh, watch how the calendar plays out thanks mike